Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is show you how we can go about graphing y equals the mod of f of x where y equals f of x is any graph and I've got a graph here y equals f of x but this applies as I say to any graph. Now you may remember in an earlier tutorial I showed you that the mod function meant that any negative value in here became just a positive value and all positive values stayed positive. So when it comes to drawing graphs of y equals the mod of f of x what happens is that parts of the graph that are below the x-axis the y value would be negative normally they become positive under the mod function and if you make these values below the x-axis positive what you get is a reflection of this part of the curve in the x-axis that so comes up like this and the same applies to this part of the curve it's reflected in the x-axis so if we were to draw the graph then of y equals the mod of f of x for this graph here what we're going to get is going to look something like this this part of the curve then gets mirrored so it's going to look something like that it's mirrored on the x-axis this part of the curve is already positive the y values are positive so that stays exactly the same so I could draw, draw over the top of this but I'm going to try and draw just slightly to the side so that you can see the red graph okay like that this part where y is negative gets mirrored in the x-axis looks like that and then this part which is already positive just stays exactly the same so you get a curve looking something like this and this is the graph then of y equals the mod of f of x so basically what we've got then is that essentially if you've got a graph of the form y equals f of x, y equals the mod of f of x is a reflection of y equals f of x in the x-axis. Now what I've got for you to do is a few examples and you might like to try and sketch these and if you're not sure what I'll do is I'll run through them in a few moments but what I'd like you to do is see if you could sketch the graph of y equals the mod of x plus 2, y equals the mod of x minus 2 times x plus 1 and finally y equals the mod of the natural log of x and it would be good to see you mark on the any points on the x and the y axis where these particular curves cross the axis OK, well, just pause the video if you'd like to have a go and come back in a moment and uh, we'll see how you got on. OK, welcome back then. Let's see how you tackled these problems. Well, first of all, we've got y equals the mod of x plus 2. And what you have to do for any of these graphs is, first of all, consider what it would be if we didn't have a mod round it. In other words, for the graph y equals x plus 2, what would we have? Well, this is the graph of a straight line. It's got the form y equals mx plus c. The gradient is 1, the value in front of the x, and it intersects the y-axis at 2. So, what we've got then is a line looking something like this. If we just draw that on there, okay, this would be the line y equals x plus 2. Now, to draw this graph, I'm going to have to look at any points that are below the x-axis, and that's this section here. This part of the graph gets mirrored in the x-axis, and so it's going to go up here. So we've got to come all the way down here to there, and then reflect this part of the graph in the x-axis to get that. Okay, so there you go. The red graph then is y equals the mod of x plus 2. 
I did say mark in where the graph crosses the x and y axis and haven't done that yet so better look at that. So where does the blue graph y equals x plus 2 cross the x axis? Well that's when y equals 0. When y equals 0 x plus 2 equals 0 leading to minus 2. So this point here would be at minus 2. And x plus 2 crosses the y-axis when x is 0, which leads to y equals 2. So that point there would be at 2. OK, let's have a look at this one. Now, this is a quadratic expression in here. If you were to expand this, you're going to get a plus x squared. And a quadratic graph with a plus x squared is going to be u-shaped. But where does it cross the x-axis? Well, it would cross the x-axis when y was 0. And y would be 0 when either x minus 2 or x plus 1 equals 0. And that would lead to x equaling 2 or minus 1. So if we mark those points in here, minus 1 there, and we'll say 2's there. And where does it cross the y-axis? Well, that's when x is 0. And I'm looking, by the way, at just the graph without the mod, OK? So when x is 0, this would be minus 2. This bracket would be 1, and minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. So without the mod, this would be down here at minus 2. So it'd have a parabola, which we'll do in blue, OK? So this is just the graph. Just bear with me as we try and sketch this in here. Comes down through there, bottoms out, and then up through there. OK, let's just mark that in. This is the graph then of y equals x minus 2 times x plus 1. But what about the mod graph? Well, for the mod graph, we can see that this section is positive, so that stays exactly the same, so it can come down there. But it's this part of the graph which is negative for y values, so we've got to make them positive, so we reflect this in the x-axis, so we're going to get something looking like this, and then back down again. And this section here is still going to be the same, okay, so it'll come down like that. Make sure that these points here are pointed, okay. What's this point up here on the y-axis? Well, that's got to be the mirror image of the minus 2 down here, so that's going to be at 2. OK, well, that's that one. And what about y equals the natural log of x? Let's think about what the graph of y equals natural log of x would look like just normally if we were to draw it, y equals natural log of x. Well, you should know that it crosses the x-axis at 1. And essentially, it approaches the y-axis. The y-axis is an asymptote. It comes up from here, passes through the 1, and then just carries on up like this. Now, if we were to draw y equals the mod of the natural log of x, then it's this part of the curve, which is negative, just gets mirrored in the x-axis. So it approaches the y-axis like this, comes down like that, and then we get this part of the curve stays exactly the same. Alright, well I hope you can uh, use these examples to basically carry on and use this particular method, graphing y equals the mod of f of x then. Just basically draw your normal graph without the mods, graph of y equals f of x, and then to draw the mod graph just reflect any parts of the graph that are below the x-axis, reflect them in the x-axis. Okay?